Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things... I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood. Everywhere. My legs. The pain. I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, Let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. The other night's events are still confused in my head.
What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. Our paths crossed. Briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes. Did you not do anything to help him? So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you. Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else 
to paint such horrors. Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Frances Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? House of Artists. Sanders accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? of artists. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. 
She must have felt devastated. to see it. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Did she really care for him, after all? I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery?
another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. The public entrance to the gallery. Why was he so interested in old weapons?